we detected the signature of iodine-131, uh, which is a radioactive isotope um, uh, in rainwater and in the seaweed. Uh, so we can see the, the signature of this isotope. Uh, we monitor the radiation levels of this isotope on the Burnaby Mountain by collecting the rainwater and measuring the rainwater with sensitive detectors. So far, our levels are small compared to the similar measurements made after other um, uh, accidents, for example, Chernobyl accidents. And if I can point to the graph, this is the seaweed which was measured on March 24th, and you see a blue line here at 364 kV. And then you can see the red background, and this was the seaweed which was measured on March 17th uh, from the same place. And this spectrum and comparison of these two spectra show that uh, the iodine 131 was not present uh, on March 17th, but was present on March 24th. In addition to that, we also monitor the, the rainwater. And, uh, this is the uh, spectrum uh, of the rainwater which, uh, which we collected, and uh, we see the same signature. We see iodine-131 here, and this is a spectrum taken at four days. On March 16 and Mar March 18, we don't see the presence of iodine-131, and then on March 19th and March 20th, we see the presence. Um, so this is uh, the indication when the iodine has been uh, actually uh, moved from Japan to, to BC. There are many sources of radiation in nature, and if you compare the, the radiation level which you are getting from iodine-131 to the other radiation which you get on the regular basis, it's really low amount. The main point, I think, which we are trying to make is that right now we have a tool to measure the radiation levels of iodine-131, so we know exactly what the radiation levels are. So uh, I think that the point is that we shouldn't fear the unknown. We know what it is, and we can measure it, and we can quantify it, and we know that the quantities of iodine-131 are actually very low, and based on the previous studies, these quantities don't pose any risk to hum human health. Uh, and if the releases are stopped and there is no release after two or three weeks, we should not see iodine-131 whatsoever.